So the next investment strategy I want to talk about is fix and flips. So fix and flips is about acquiring a property and fixing it up and flipping it. So notice I said acquiring a, pop, a property. A lot of people think that you have to go out and purchase a property, uh, fix it up and flip it. Uh, there's no reason why you couldn't negotiate with the seller or with the owner that they stay on title while you fix the property and then you flip it in the, fe in the future uh, after it's been, uh, after the, the maintenance has been applied, after all the fixing up has been done. And so then you're only on the hook of the money required uh, to do the necessary uh, fixing. Uh, that's a little bit of a creative financing strategy. And so, but in general, what it means is you're gonna get a property and you wanna make sure that the property is, uh, especially if you're purchasing, that it's purchased at a very good price, uh, usually 60 to 65 cents on the dollar. So what that means is if you're buying a property for $100,000, you wanna be able to buy it for you know 60 or $65,000. Uh, and usually that's because the property needs a lot of work. Uh, you'll look at the property and you'll say, okay, well, I want to put, I have to put 15,000 into it. Uh, and then all my costs associated holding costs, you know, all that, it comes to about 15,000. So now you're into it for about 80,000 and you, it's worth a hundred. So you sell it for 90,000. And so the end result is on a, a simple little fix and flip like that. You want to make, you'll only make ten thousand dollars. Now, obviously, the bigger the property, if you know, if it's a three or four or five hundred thousand dollar property, the whole profit uh, should scale accordingly. Meaning, you should make three or four or five times the profit on the bigger properties. Yes, I've seen fix and flips for million dollar plus properties where you know the the margins on those are you know a couple of hundred thousand, and the profits on those are a couple of hundred thousand. Uh, again, the biggest problem with fix and flips is that people overestimate the selling price and they underestimate the cost associated with the renovation or the cost associated with the holding, meaning they think it's gonna sell a lot faster, so they have to carry it a lot longer. So, you know, be very conservative in your estimates uh, and be very, um, overestimate any of your costs when doing fix and flip. So um, if, if you think the property is gonna sell for 400,000, in your estimates, put like 380. And if you think it's going to cost forty thousand for the renovation, in your estimates, put fifty or sixty thousand, right? And so then, when you make more than that, you're actually uh, more pleased, uh, right? So, so again, basically, a fix and flip is getting a property, fixing it up, and flipping it. Usually within three to six months is a typical fix and flip time frame.